Hey guys, welcome back to the Woolen Homestead. This is episode 110 and it is August 11th, 2022. My name is Tiffany, coming to you from Midland, Michigan in a different location today out on our front porch. It's a three season porch and we just got um, a table out here so I thought it'd be fun to podcast out here although I'm very distracted because there's lots of things to look at because I'm right in front of the windows. So. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too squirrel today. <laughs> so um, yeah, welcome back. Hello if you're new. Um, yeah, I've got a new tripod too, so I'm trying that out. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. I just got my hair done today, so I feel like every time I get my hair done, I'm like, well, now I have to podcast because it's done. I might as well use it. <laughs> so um, I got it newly highlighted and I just still have been getting the ends just trimmed up so it's about past it's past my waist like down to my belly button so it's pretty long but um I'm just kind of going with it usually I'll wear it kind of in a braid or a ponytail um at work so I usually don't wear it down so it's nice to have it down for once but yeah I hope you guys are well um I don't have show notes typed out this week so I am gonna go with it but I do have all of my things on this table which is really nice I usually don't have a table around me when I podcast I'm just kind of picking up stuff um, so this is a treat so hopefully I don't forget anything but uh, we'll start with finished objects oh also where you can find me um, the woolen homestead on Instagram um, email for the podcast is the woolen homestead at gmail there's a P.O. box. All that is listed in the description box below this video. Um, but yeah, let's get into what I've got done. So I do have one thing that's finished, but I can't show it yet. Um, so probably next time I should be able to show it. It's secret. So I'll show that next time as well. But I did finish can't tell what's the front or back but I did finish my city limits sweater by Tannis Fiber Arts as you can see my color scheme I love how this turned out so much I'm sorry I keep chopping off my head <laughs> see if we can get that um but yeah I really really like this colorway um these colorways that I did for this so this top color is a homespun house. This was a Harry Potter club colorway. This was Weekends at Hogsmeade. Um, and then it kind of fades into this pink speckle, which is um, a colorway that Ethan dyed up was, uh, we called it Pretty in Pink. And then it melts into this kind of purple and white variegated color. This was called, um, this is Peach Queen Yarns, and it's called My Little Nut Meg, from, which is from Hercules, Disney's Hercules. And then this green and white and blue colorway, this was one of ours um, called Moonlight Sonata. And then the blue is our colorway Hoarfrost. And then the purple, I love this purple. It's like a purpley blue color. Um, I don't remember the name of this colorway, but this is from Pixie Dust Yarns. I think it was Galaxy is what it was called. And that's from Pixie Dust Yarns. So yeah, I've got this um, on the opposite side. So the wrong side, but it's designed to be worn that way. So it has a really cool raglan detail. Um, and you can wear it either way, but I just, I kind of like this. I don't have... I think I maybe have one other sweater that is done um, in that style. So I, I really like this, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, looking forward to being able to wear it as it gets a little cooler, which it's slowly starting to, which I'm okay. I have mixed feelings, but I'm okay with that. I'm always looking forward to fall. Um, I have tolerated the heat much better this year um, since I lost weight, and that has made huge difference in my I have less of a hatred of summer than I used to so that's been nice um, but I am definitely more of a cooler months kind of gal um so yes I said my other finished object I can't show yet so I will share that 
or pictures but probably next time because it will be out of here by them let's see why don't i talk about some socks that i'm working on so in this little canvas bag that was my family's music company when i was growing up they owned it for 20 years in st louis michigan when i was about i think about Eight going on nine is when they sold it. So, um, I am working on the Morning Coffee Socks by Kay Litton, who's the crazy sock lady. I cast these on last year, and I have really, I got into a flow with them. This is where I was at last time, and I got more into a flow with the pattern. It's really simple. Um, I just, for some reason, could not, like, stick, stick it <laughs> for some reason. And um, yeah, I, I really, really like how this is turning out. This is our old Nymphadora Tonks colorway. And it's really like an intuitive um, kind of a rib pattern. And it's really enjoyable. I've really been liking this. I just, like I said, I don't tend to flock towards um, pattern socks, but I do like this. This is nice and simple. And I'm actually just about to the toe, I think. So I need to remeasure it and see where I'm at. But this is the cake of yarn. And sorry if you can hear the sirens. We live right by a firehouse. So it is, can get a little noisy. <laughs> I also heard the um, local high school was practicing, um, their marching band was practicing. It's probably band camp time. So I thought that was fun. That was very nostalgic. <laughs> so you may hear that too. Um, let's see here. So that's my one pair of socks. Um, another pair of socks that I cast on are going to be for Ethan for his birthday, which is in October. And this colorway, which is from Life in the Long Grass. He actually picked this out when we went down to Spun in Ann Arbor. Um, we were down there for our anniversary. He took me shopping and I had him pick out, um, a skein so that I can make them socks. And I have the tag right here so I can see what the colorway name is. I don't remember. It is Burnished. So that is the colorway. It's um, 7525 Superwash Merino and Nylon Blend. It's in this really cute DPN cozy and I'm knitting these on size one signature needles. And I just finished the heel flap this morning. And I really like how these are knitting up. I'm doing 72 stitches for him. Oh, I did a one by one rib. I like how that looks. I like the one by one twisted rib too, but I just did a regular one by one. And heel flap and gusset. Yeah. So super nice and mindless. Um, I'd like to get at least into the gusset decreases today just to get that going. Cause I like to have, I like to have a sock project um, in my purse. Right now I've got another sock nut project which I will share. Actually I'll probably share that after I share my next sock project. So I have another one in, this is a little bobbins bag. And this is Patchwork Quilt from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. Super bright and fun. So I don't remember if this was done last time, but I do have a whole sock done. So that is nice, gotta weave in the ends and such, but um, 64 stitches, size US 1. Uh, heel flap and gusset as well. I did a contrast heel. I think that's kind of fun. I like the way it looks. It a contrast toe. And this was just one of our tonals that we had some left over. Which looks like this. I don't even remember the colorway name. <laughs> Sad. Oh, and then this 
stitch marker. Our progress keeper is all stuck in my yarn. It's not even actually a progress keeper. I got it. <laughs> it came on a pair of shears that I bought for grooming and it's got a poodle on it and I love it. But I thought this would be perfect for my knitting but with this being so dangly it gets caught on everything so I might take the chain off <laughs> and just make it a little charm that way. But I got past the heel on this one and I think I think my gusset decreases are done. I'd have to go back and check. I haven't been working on these ones a ton. But um, yeah, that would be really nice if they are because then that would be another purse knitting option. So my next one is in a Chasing Acorns bag, which I love. I think I got this at the Michigan Fiber Festival years ago um but i've got let's see this is hipster cotton from premiere i got this at my local yarn shop which is stranded here in midland and one of the girls at knit night was talking about this yarn she was knitting up a dishcloth and I loved, actually it was, I bought this, I bought two skeins of it. So this is another of the colorway. This is the colorway that she was knitting on. This is called Sunset Aesthetic. And then this one is called Rainbow Roller Skates, which I fell in love with when I saw it. And I am knitting another little crop top. So one of the shop owners and it's these little crop tops and she wrote up a recipe for it and she had them um for free and so i was talking with her and she was giving me um tips like on how much to cast on with this yarn and needles and everything so i'm i'm so excited so i i started it last week and i worked on this while i was getting my hair done so i'm actually almost ready to start little triangles so I'm excited I hope I, I tried it on with the um barber cord and it does fit and I know that this is all cotton too so I know cotton tends to stretch out a bit so I think we're gonna be good I'm hoping I'm it's not too small but I don't know I'd rather have it be too small than too big because cotton stretches so much so and I'm excited this is like a almost like a DK weight I think um, it's a size 3 um the size three light so i guess that would be like dk or sport i think but yeah i really like this and i'm obsessed with this color <laughs> isn't it so fun oh i love it and this one too so i'm probably gonna knit another one i'm excited so i'm using size six needles for the body um which is what the uh, ball band recommends and then I just went down two sizes for the ribbing just because I I tend to like that when I make sweaters and things so I just went down to a four for the ribbing yeah so I can't wait I want to work on this more and the colors are calling to me I'm loving it I have found that I am very much color driven on my projects a lot of the times um I have a hard time working on something that's a plain color <laughs> Which is a problem because it's nice to have, you know, uh, pieces in your wardrobe that are one color and not, you know, <laughs> crazy, crazy colors. But that's what I like to knit with. So that's what I'm doing. Um, let's see. So I showed the other skein, which, oh, I still love it. So yeah, this, if you missed it, this is Premier Hipster Cotton. And it's really, really nice. Maybe I'll make some washcloths with the um, leftovers too. I did cast on something new. Um, so there's not much to show for it yet, but I cast this on last week. This is, <laughs> this is called the Billy Zip. And so this is the bottom portion. It's worked bottom up. It's a little like a pullover, um, like crop hoodie with a zipper and it's super cute. I'll grab a picture here real quick and I can show you guys. Um, but it's knit with bulky weight and I had this 
single ply mystery yarn and I thought I'm gonna do that and then I had this other mystery yarn and so I thought I could kind of color block it <laughs> so this I've had forever my mom gave me this Honestly, I want to say it was my first start of the podcast. Like, I don't even think I started it yet. So this is like, oh my gosh, six years ago. And um, yeah, it was, she got it at a garage sale and it was yarn from Ireland. So I just balled it up. It was in um, Big Hanks and I just balled it up and never was never sure what to make with it. So I really like the idea of these together in like a color block look. Um, I'm gonna find a picture for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I bought it on Etsy. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. And there's another picture of it, but I just thought it was adorable. And so it's got a little like singe at the bottom. I've never knit anything with a zipper. Um, so yeah, I figured why not? Let's give it a shot. So I really would like to knit on this too, um, but I'm just so obsessed with that crop top right now. So I'm gonna, I'm kinda going through that, but this will be here when I'm ready to get back to it. But uh, I'm using size eight needles. Um, and then I think it goes up to 10 and a half after that. So yeah, that's gonna knit up quick too. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've got some other projects that aren't knitting. Um, one of the things that I worked on, which I don't think I'm gonna share with it because I'm gonna have another video to show it, but um, uh, Emily, who has the Knit to Cultivate to podcast here on YouTube as well, her and I got together and filmed a video doing, um, like making little baskets out of our yarn scraps. And it's super cute. So I did finish mine. Um, and, but yeah, we're making a separate video about it. So we've already recorded it and then now we're just working on editing it um, and kind of piecing it together. So um, if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. Um, that will be coming once I get that done as well. Um, but that was a lot of fun. So yeah, keep an eye out for that too. Um, another non-knitting project that I started was a friendship bracelet. <laughs> I used to make these in high school all the time and this one's called like, I can't, it was called the candy stripe. And I, one day I just decided I was gonna make a friendship bracelet for Ethan. <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to do it in Harley Davidson colors. <laughs> so I went to the store and got um, black and orange and started making it. So I'm really excited to give him this. He knows it's coming, I've been working on it. Um, but it's just fun to like do another craft that I always used to do and yeah, that's been fun. Um, I also, I picked up from Michael's this little embroidery floss pack. It's all open, so, but I got all this for five bucks. So it's got lots of fun colors in it. Um, and that was without a coupon. Like I did use a coupon, so it was less than five dollars. And um, yeah, super fun. So if I, want to make more of these or um, want to make different types. I've got all sorts of different colors to do that. So I am, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm really excited to be making friendship bracelets. <laughs> um, another thing that I started was a sewing project. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this too. So um, a while ago, my mom gave me a bunch of extra flannel that I think some ladies from her sewing group weren't using anymore. So she gave me that, and then I had some myself because I have been wanting to make a rag quilt for a long time. I've had the stuff to do it. I didn't have quite enough fabric. Um, I just hadn't bought enough. My plan was to pick a couple colors that I liked, and then, or a couple fabrics that I liked, and then pick some others, um, and then I never went and got some others. So now I have some others, and um, it's still kind of hodgepodge, but I love it. And I think that's kind of totally a red quilt style too. But I'll show you guys. I don't have all the squares cut out yet, but I've got some of them. So this is one of the fabrics, which I, I did pick that one out. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then I've got 
this one, which I think my mom made a pair of PJs out of this. This is so cute. And I have this. This was scraps that I had. I actually made a pair of PJs out of this myself. I don't have them anymore, but they're so cute. The little puppies and winter wear. I've got some of this. Um, a long time ago, I made um, teddy bears for my nieces for Christmas. My mother-in-law helped me with that, and that was really cool. That was kind of like my first big real sewing project. So that was that was a really cool learning experience. I used this one too for that. This one. And then this fabric was in with the ones that um, I was given to by my mom. So yeah, that's just some of them. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up some more. I've been using my rotary cutter and getting more comfortable with cutting like multiple fabrics at a time. That was kind of scary the first time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying that. So I'm looking forward to getting more going on that. Um, instead of batting, I'm gonna use, cause I have so much of that extra flannel, I'm going to just cut up more squares and um, use that as the batting in the middle. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I still wanna start a paper piecing project. I have not started one I really want to. Really want to. So. Yeah, it's been kind of fun, like, dabbling in other crafts. I have not done that in a while. I kind of got stuck on knitting and stayed there because I love it. But sometimes it's nice to just have something else when you're kind of not feeling like even switching between projects. You just kind of want to do something else, but you can't figure out what it is. <laughs> it's nice to have another, another craft to go to. So that's been a lot of fun. Really, really have been enjoying that. Um... That is all for the projects that I'm gonna share. Um, as far as acquisitions, the only thing I got was that yarn, that cotton yarn, I think. I'm always like, did I forget to show something? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, and the embroidery floss. But yeah, I've been loving sitting out here on the porch. I guess we'll go into life stuff because I'm kind of kind of going there. Um, loving sitting out here. It's so nice. Um, I've been sitting out here in the mornings quite a bit. Um, and then my crop top while we chat. So that's that's been really fun. Um, get my coffee. Sit out here at the table. We do have two log chairs over there. Um, so I, it's nice to sit over there too, but I've been really enjoying the table as well. Um, oh, I just noticed you can see Benny in the background, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. There. <laughs> He's sleeping, Oh, My buddy, sweet boy. Yep, that's Benny, our yellow lab. Um, and then we have Ella, who is a lab and hound mix. And she went and got sick last month, poor baby. Um, she ended up having pancreatitis, which was really scary. So, and I don't think I ever even posted about that on Instagram. Um, I didn't, I know I did on Facebook, but yeah, she was really, really sick and that was very scary. I had um, started her on a salmon supplement and a salmon oil supplement and the oil, it was just too much, so. That was scary. So we stopped that. And now she's doing just fine. Um, but yeah, she it was crazy. She also ended up getting hookworms, which was nuts because she's on a preventative. She's on Interceptor Plus, but she still got it. Benny didn't get it, thank goodness. But um, I'm not really sure how she got that, but she did. And like I said, we're regular with our preventative, but she still got it. Um, but thankfully that is all better. Um, she is a counter surfer, so we always have to watch that out, watch out for that with her. Um, 
because that can also, if they steal food, they can get pancreatitis that way too, so that was scary. Oh, I just remembered, someone on the last episode wanted to see um, pictures of the booster bath that I have. That's the bath that I use for them outside. And I will put a picture in here, because um, I don't think I have any video, but I will put a picture of what it looks like, because it's so cool. I love that thing. Um, I needed to give her another bath, but with her being sick that I waited, <laughs> just to not mess with her. Um, what else? I got to see my mom and my sister, so that was good. I saw them a couple weeks ago. I've been weightlifting again. Well, I, can't, I didn't really stop, but I wasn't doing it as frequently. Um, but now I am, I've got more like goals in mind. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's been a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. It makes me feel strong. It's really helping me in my job as a groomer, able to pick up the big dogs and, um, I don't know. It's just, it's really nice. So I've, I've just been feeling good doing that and yeah it's been actually a year since Ethan and I kind of started on our like wellness journey I guess you could call it um where we were exercising regularly on a program and um we were in a calorie deficit uh right now we're not in a bit of a calorie deficit if you do that for too long that can be dangerous so we are just maintaining at the moment but um, I've kind of gone down the rabbit hole of learning more about nutrition and that's been really enjoyable because I didn't know a ton about it um, so that's also been helping me with my weightlifting goals um, one of the she's a registered dietitian that I've been watching on YouTube uh, her name is Abby Sharp and I have really really have been enjoying watching her stuff. So if you're interested in that as well, you can check her out. But yeah, I think that's all I've got. Um, nothing crazy going on around here. Like I said, just the pups getting, or just Ella getting sick. That was a little scary. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you're well. Um, and thank you guys once again from the last episode for all of the good tips on um you guys gave me lots of good tips on my other crop top that i made um so i appreciate that and yeah you guys are wonderful i hope you're well thank you guys for oh and thank you guys for the love on um <laughs> me saying um <laughs> And so yeah, <laughs> all the time. You guys are really sweet about that. <laughs> so I appreciate that a lot. I hope you guys are doing great. And yeah, let me know what you guys are working on. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.